Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always a privilege to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you and a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and to help you know God even better for yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God has given me a specific prophetic word for someone. This is a specific message and I pray that it reaches just the right person that needs to hear this right now. And when you listen to these words, your heart will not be hardened in the name of Jesus. God says never go back to this place again. Never go back to this place again. Never go back to this place again. It will not end well. Never go back to this place again. It will not end well. Where God picked you from, where God saved you from, never go back there again because it will not end well. Jesus picked um, Peter and he was a fisherman. And he told him right now, henceforth, I'm going to help you become a fisher of men and not a fisherman. And he was doing all that while Jesus was on earth or while Jesus was still actively in his ministry when Jesus died they felt defeated they felt discouraged they felt like everything was over all hope was gone and they went back to fishing when Jesus resurrected in one of the Gospels he appears to them while they were trying to steal cash fish because they had gone back to fishing. Peter led the crew that had gone back to fishing and Jesus came by the seashore and saw them toiling. And guess what? They were toiling and there was still no cash. It means they went back there just to waste their time. They went back there thinking they still had a life that way. They went back, they fell back to fishing thinking that it could still sustain them, it could still give them a life. But it was empty. There was nothing coming for it. They toiled all night and yet they did not have any cash because that was not where Jesus wanted them at that time. That was not where God wanted them at the time. So when Jesus appeared to them and he, he, he had some fish and he roasted it and he told them, come and eat. Guys, have you caught any fish? He said, no, we haven't. He said, okay, come and eat. I'm roasting some fish. Come and eat. And when they came and they were eating, he told Peter just one thing. He said three things. He asked him three questions. Do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Tend my sheep. Do you love me? Tend my sheep. Do you love me? Feed my lamb. Because God, because he had already deviated from what Jesus had initially planned for him. He was already going out of the path. Where God picked you from, never go back there because there is nothing there for you. Sometimes life might be a little bit complicated this way or a little bit difficult, but it's just for a time being. If God delivered you from that thing, it means it was not even good for you in the first place. You've got to trust God and never go back there. I don't know what that might be for you. It might be a relationship, an abusive relationship that Jesus picked you and separated you from. Do not go back there. It might be a physical location. Do not go back there. It might be a job opportunity. It might be a particular, a specific place. Everywhere God picked you from, do not go back there. It will not end well. You might be thinking it's your fallback, but it can become your downfall. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? I pray that the Lord will bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you that he will be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in jesus mighty name amen